Hey boys and girls, welcome to my channel, I'm for classic and welcome to Benchart. So for today what I have in here it is a game with a very big name, it is Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch Remastered. So this game was developed by the level 5 and ported for PC, PS4 and Switch and I don't know even what platforms they got this game into but the port was, I mean the, re the remastered was responsible by the Keybog. So they are using that in-house engine and well let's check some settings in here so i'm playing the game at 1440p so this is rare and this is doesn't happen all the time playing a game at 1440p with uh, the cpu with 10 years old and this graphic card with 7 but this is the requirements for the game they ask for an fx for four thousand and one hundred four gigs of ram and an hd 5750 for the recommended the only thing that the change was the RAM. I don't think it is necessary for you to have 8 gigs of RAM. So if you are still stuck with 4 gigs of RAM, you won't be having any issue with the game. All right. So yeah, I tested for the first time in my life 4K because I have a 4K TV and I connected my PC to it and I could test the game in 4K. So with 4K. And fortunately, I wasn't able to get 60 frames per second, but still I was very close to it. 1440p, the resolution that I'm playing in here, I got an average of 103, 1% 1 low 87, and the maximum of 121. Uh, 1080p, I got an average of 130, and the 1% 1 low of 96. This game was a little bit tricky to benchmark, because uh, during my first hour of playthrough, the game changed a lot. I mean... Throughout that hour, it changed a lot. Perspectives, events, many stuff was different in one hour. So, I decided to test the world map, which was uh, the most demanding thing that I got. Um, then, I tested uh, the beginning area with the isometric view. All right, I did a run around the first town and got into the house, my own house. And then I recorded a fight, so I compiled everything into a single file, alright, and what I got simply, it was those graphs that you saw before, alright, that was my benchmark. I'm not really sure how demanding or not this game can be uh, a little bit further into it, but uh, for now that was the result that I got and honestly I don't think there will be any issue playing this game above 60 frames per second. All right. So, Nino Kuni 1, it was released initially for the PlayStation 3. And, well, to be even more honest, this game was released first in Nintendo DS. But the graphics had nothing to do with this, alright? It was a completely different game visually. But in the end, and the base of it, it was the same game. Then, when it was released for the PS3, uh, it was launched what it seems to be the exact same version that we have in here or that switch received or that ps4 received So the remaster that we got it's pretty much the same thing as the ps3 version the difference is We never got this game before this is the first time we are receiving the first Nino Kuni I was expecting this game to to get earlier than Nino Kuni 2 because Nino Kuni 2 was released on the PC some months ago. I'm not even sure if it already passed one year or not, but it was released first, and only now we get Nino Kuni 1. So for people that did complete Nino Kuni 2 first, they are going to be shocked because the combat system it is completely different, and there are a lot of changes in graphics and stuff like this. Story-wise, I believe that Nino Kuni 1 might be probably a better game than Nino Kuni 2, but all the rest, the Nino Kuni 2, it is a great, great evolution over the first one. But the first one, it is still a great game, with only the complaints from the community being some people complaining about the performance, some itching. I add some itching in this game, and I noticed that if you lock your frame rate to 60 frames per second or use VSync, that itching just goes away and don't appear, or if appears, it's it's very slightly, you better notice it. So probably some people are playing with frame rate unlocked and pushing the maximum it can out of the CPU and you will notice more itching than the usual. And the second complaint is that this game can get a little bit grindy. It's mostly just that. And I had myself a big complaint. This game, it is expensive. 
This is completely normal for Bandai Namco. Every time they release a Japanese game on the PC, it is always expensive, it always costs the full price. So this game, it is on Steam for $49.99, so it is a full price for a game that was released years ago for the PS3. None of the West game it is great, alright? I think it worths it. The game worths every praise that have been giving have been given even today. But still $49.99 it doesn't sound well, especially when Sega released their Yakuza games for $19.99. So this is a tad expensive. But don't worry, I got you covered. So if you want to save a little bit on the buy of the game, you can buy through Kingwin. Uh, oh my God, sorry! You can buy through Greenman Gaming. Greenman Gaming have the game at uh, forty-four ninety-nine, so it's a five euro discount. It's exactly the same thing as Steam. You buy through Greenman Gaming. They give you a key and you activate the game on Steam, and you have the game on Steam forever, and you save five euros. So it's a very nice price or at least a very nice discount to take in account the link it is on the description of the video in case you want to get that discount of 5 euros and buy the game but for now yeah I realize it is a little bit expensive but none of the less the game it is great I do recommend a lot the game and performance wise I don't see any issue near the game despite it is very lightweight I love a lot the art style this is absolutely gorgeous, the music, the audio, everything, it is completely gorgeous. For some time, I don't know, the, the most similar feeling that I had while I started to play this game, it was when I put a Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Silver in my Game Boy Color, like 20 years ago. This game completely got me that feeling, that feeling of playing a Japanese game. It was it was undeniable the same feeling but 20 years later now that I have close to 30 years old I get this feeling again this is very weird all right well I guess I don't have too much more to talk about Nino Kuni Wraith of the White Witch hope you keep enjoying the rest of the video I have a little bit more gameplay and I do hope to see you soon goodbye
Ha! Hey! Ha! Ha! 